Hey guys, what's up? It's Alice and welcome back to my channel. So I was clearing out my closet recently and I found a box of clothes that I have not worn since I moved to LA and it is a box full of winter clothes. <laughs> I haven't had the need to wear such warm and fuzzy clothes in a while but I decided to put together a couple of outfits for a Liz Lisa winter lookbook. So let's get right into it. So this is the first outfit and I think normally in my everyday life I like to wear pink and white combinations but specifically for winter outfits I love the white and blue combination it just gives off such like winter wonderland kind of vibes and this dress is my absolute favorite winter dress I bought this in Tokyo a couple of years back and I think that it's the perfect dress because it's off shoulder it's got this white fuzzy part over here and it's white and blue. The main point of this dress, first of all, is this fuzzy part over here. And also on the skirt part, the lace detail is pretty cool. I like it a lot. And yeah, this is my absolute favorite Liz Lisa winter dress. It's really cute and it keeps you warm, which I think is the theme of this entire lookbook. So for the second outfit, I have chosen this sweater dress. I love it because it is super comfortable, really cozy, and it really, really keeps you warm. Also, it is really effortless. It's so easy to put on and then you're instantly warm and cute. I wore this a lot during the winters in New York, especially on lazy days when I don't really want to think of what to wear. I think that this sweater dress goes really well with tights and you look so cozy, you look like you belong by a fireplace drinking hot chocolate and reading a good book. And the main point of this outfit is the top part over here. So first, I love these kind of like lacing um, on the top part over here. And then second, look at this cute ribbon. It goes through here and then it even goes through the back and it ends with a little bow and I think that it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and this is outfit number three. For this outfit, I've paired this plaid skirt with this embroidered sweater. I really love this color combination of pink, white, and gray. And I absolutely love this skirt. And it's kind of a shame that I can only wear it really in the winter. Yeah, I think Liz Lisa kind of releases a new version of the skirt every year and this is from a couple years ago. It has pockets, which is amazing. Also, the main point of the skirt would be the embroidery part. Ah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like embroidery by the pockets over here. That's kind of why I paired it with this sweater because the sweater also has embroidery and the main point of the sweater is the back. It has these cute ribbons. It's like low cut and then it has two little bows. I think that's really cute. And the sweater is so warm and fuzzy, it used to keep me warm in New York. And right now, it's just making me really warm, but it is still really fuzzy and really comfortable. And ta-da! I've upgraded this outfit with this really adorable gray poncho. If there's one thing you need to know about me is that I really love ponchos and this one is my favorite poncho. I think I just really love the silhouette that the poncho gives off that it's just like wide and then you wear either like a tight skirt or a flare skirt. Either way, I think it will look really good. And this poncho specifically, there are buttons on the inside so you could actually button it and then it'll be kind of a sleeve rather than just a free-flowing poncho. Since we're talking about ponchos, I have to tell you my favorite poncho story. But a little backstory. So the thing with ponchos is you have to put the bag on first before you put the poncho. But I feel like that little detail, not a lot of people know. Um, only people who wear ponchos would know. And so a couple years ago, the year that I bought this jacket, I went to Japan and I went to a butler cafe. So if you don't know what a butler cafe is, it's basically like the opposite of a maid cafe. And 
the one that I went to was this like really fancy cafe and all the waiters there dress up as butlers and they treat you like princesses. It's great. <laughs> so what happens is you enter and then they'll take your coat off, your bag off, and then they'll walk you to your seat and then they'll serve you, whatever. And then when you're done, they'll walk you back out to put on your coat and your bag. So regular people who wear regular coats, the coat goes on first and then the bag, right? I was wearing this poncho, so I would have to put my bag before my poncho, but the butler was already reaching for my coat and he was like already putting it on me and I was like, oh, you know what? It's fine, I'll like fix it later. Um, I don't want to like tell him like, oh, I need my bag first, you know? Because <laughs> I don't really speak Japanese, so I didn't really know how to tell him that. But like as he was putting my poncho on me, he was like, wait a minute, is this a poncho? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, then you'll need your bag first. Like... Oh, I was so impressed that he even knew that. So he gave me my bag first and then he put my poncho on me. And uh, I was so impressed and I think about that story every time I wear this poncho. And if you're ever in Tokyo whenever we can travel again, I highly recommend Swallowtail Cafe. That's the name of the butler cafe. It's just such a detail that not a lot of people know and I'm sure that specific butler or every butler there makes it their job to know these kind of details but i still think it was really impressive so thank you butler guy so this is outfit number four i decided to toss in a little bit of pink and white because why not so i paired this pink plaid skirt with a simple white sweater because I wanted the main point to be the skirt and I've had the skirt for a really long time but every winter I, I feel like I never wear it because I didn't know how to coordinate it properly but I also didn't have the heart to sell it because it reminds me of like super old school this Lisa and they don't really make skirts like that anymore so normally winters in New York is really cold so every time I wear a skirt I have to wear there are two layers of tights and I just didn't like how the skirt looked with tights so now that I'm wearing it again without any tights, I think that that's how it's meant to be worn. <laughs> this skirt reminds me so much of my my Japanese friend from high school that she used to wear these kind of skirts and then bare legs and then boots, right? And this would be dead in the winter of, in New York. And now I kind of understand why she did that because it just doesn't look good with tights. So the main point of this outfit, I would say, is this little bow belt. I'm still not amazing at tying bows but I think that one looks pretty good. And yeah, overall I'm pretty um, happy with this outfit and I think I'm gonna hold on to the skirt a little longer. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my this Lisa winter lookbook. I'm honestly just sweating sitting here in these thick fuzzy sweaters. And yeah, wearing these outfits again kind of make me miss winter a little bit. It's been a while since I've felt cold weather, I guess. <laughs> and I mean, do I miss it? I miss it a little bit. I do kind of miss snow a little bit, maybe. Maybe it's just because I haven't seen it in so long. I think I miss it. And yeah, so this is the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also let me know in the comments below which of these outfits were your favorite. And I'll see you guys next time.